guys so I hope you can hear me well um this is the first time I've done a video like this um especially doing it at this angle my camera's right next to me but it's not facing me so I'm hoping that you guys can hear me well um I know it's been a while since I've done a video um but I wanted to come back and do something fun um so recently well with quarantine so I guess not too recently because we're already a year into COVID but um from August of 2020 I recently started doing my own gel nails so I have some on right now I don't have a video or anything on these I do want to start trying to film um how I apply my nails um and do some like tutorials and just like some little quick tips and how to's um, but I just got everything set up to do that so what I figured I'd start out with is with an unboxing so I actually entered Lisette Cruises she's on YouTube here she also has an Instagram so I will pop it somewhere here sorry I don't even know where to point but I'll pop it somewhere here on the screen um, and definitely go check her out she's amazing I love all her different gel designs she does really good tutorials and she strictly does hard gel nails which is so freaking unheard of for anybody here on YouTube so many people do like acrylic predominantly and then you'll see some that have like a half and half mix um, but I really don't see anybody else doing full hard gel tutorials so if you're interested in doing hard gel um, she also does some poly gel as well so if you're interested in that definitely check out her channel she's freaking amazing and I'm so appreciative that I was able to partake in her giveaway let alone win it so I figured I'd unbox it show you guys all the different goodies um, because um, there was a lot of stuff that she posted a picture of but you couldn't really see it fully in person so I don't know exactly everything that's in here um, so I'm gonna just get started I opened the box already just to make it easier just with my lens and everything it's really close to my desk um, so I figured it'd be easier than trying to fumble with that um, so let's go into it Ooh, oh my goodness this is literally packed to the brim I'm so freaking excited I have been having so much fun with nail products and I'm sorry if my hands are awkward I'm trying to make sure you guys can see this if it's a little dark my one light that I have in front of me um, bounced off too much so it kind of blew out the picture so I'll try to see if I can fix that during the editing just to make it a little bit easier to see um, but I'll hold things up for you um, so the first thing we have have here are nail forms these are actually the type of forms that I've learned on um, I recently picked up some of the young nail forms just because they had a big like end of year sale so um, I those are a little bit of a different shape but I've practiced on these and know these really well I really really love nail forms I'm glad that I decided to try to learn these instead of sticking with tips because these are way easier to change out like length and if you have like a broken nail you don't have to completely remove everything you're able to just build off of what you have so love nail forms really excited for that can always use more forms um, next thing are these little manicure brushes there's a smaller one and a larger one this is actually really good because the one that I have is starting to fray out I really use this just to clean off dust I learned from young nails channel that you can use this directly with your rubbing alcohol or they use swipe instead of having to use a lint-free wipe all the time and it cleans off the dust really really well so I'm glad I got a backup of these because I was literally on my list to go to the store to pick up a new one so that's really cool and they're a really cool color so love that also don't mind this mess over here um, I just got home and I really wanted to just open up this stuff because I was really excited um, so these are little jewels and I think these are called caviar caviar beads um, please correct me if I'm wrong I'm not too familiar with these yet um, so I'm excited to try it so they have some different colored ones there's like a clear pink and red of the mini ones and then there's a clear and kind of like a milky like gold color of like like larger so they have small ones in there medium and some large so it's kind of like a multi-sized one and then this over here is like a purple gem so those are pretty some of them are like teardrop shape which is actually really cool I don't have any gems like that I had some that I used to use for makeup that are the circle ones um, but they're too big for my nails so I don't have any that are like small enough for nails um, so these are really cool I'm excited to try those I actually just picked up these really tiny ones that I applied um, these I think are better if you're gonna just like sprinkle them all over the nail instead of doing like the little couple 
designed ones um, but they're really fun and I just started this is my first time trying gems then we have a little practice finger oh and a dappen dish so you can use this for um, monomer I think and you can also use it for the alcohol um, for poly gel nails um, I actually have been using a shot glass that I've essentially just destroyed um, with alcohol and monomer so this is really cool to have this is also different from the practice hand that I have you can kind of see the one that I got here I got mine off of Amazon it's similar to the ones that young nails uses I got it just because I watch their videos a lot and I figured their tutorials would be easier for me to follow if I had a hand similar to theirs but these are really cool they're one finger practice hand this one has a little ledge I've seen some of these at my local Sally's that don't have like the nail extended out um, and it has kind of like a gap so I think you're supposed to for those ones apply a tip but this one looks like you could just apply a form and build straight out so this is going to be really really cool and it has that sticky to hold it on to your desk or to like a little tabletop or anything like that so this is going to be fun I've just started, I've only done one nail on a practice hand, so this is going to be fun to play with. Then we have some straight edge toenail clippers. These are good for getting off the extension. So if you wanted to shorten this or completely remove it, you would then just clip these off. And the toenail clippers are best because they're heavy duty and they won't snap. So that's really good. You can always use ones like these. And straight edge, for some reason, are a lot harder to find than the curved ones then it's like there's so much stuff I don't even know what to pick um, so there's this model ones nail gel this kind of looks like hmm I can't tell if it's a top coat or oh it might be a gel polish because it has like a little label here that says glitter night if you can see that sorry if it's not focusing there's a lot in the screen right now let me see I'll open it up really quick Ooh, oh that's pretty it has like multi see if I can show you guys like that multi-dimensional glitter you might not be able to see it just because my light is behind the box so it's not going to reflect as much but it has that like rainbow sparkle in it that's really pretty I like that and this is a cool packaging I've never seen um, model ones gel polishes in this packaging so I don't know if it's like a specific line but that's really cute and a really pretty that'd be fun for like holiday um, and kind of sticking with the glitter it she gave also six different color glitters these look um, like fine glitters I would say um, if I'm going off of like Michael's craft store style glitters um, so there's a pink blue purple gold red and this one I believe is a holographic silver glitter so those are fun I love glitter glitter is like literally my downfall when it comes to nails um i can literally throw glitter on everything i love sparkle i love glitz i love glam so um and then these i'll probably open these up so it's easier for you guys to see and sorry i don't want this to be like a super long video but i also want to be able to like show you guys all the products because i'm super excited and really thankful for being able to win this these are really cool. I've never actually seen these. They almost look like foil flakes if you shredded it up and made it like thin, like thin lines, almost like tinsel. Um, but they kind of look like those little gold foil flakes that you can get or silver foil flakes. Um, so that'll be fun. I think that'll be really fun to play with. I'm excited for that because that's different. I've never seen anything like that. Then these, oh, these are so cute. I just saw some people use these um, with the what are they called like the little fruit designs um but these are those little i don't know what they're made of i think they're some form of plastic but they're just little designs that you can get um and you can encapsulate them into the nail i'm sorry i don't know if it's gonna focus come on we'll see yeah i don't know if it's gonna focus right now just because of my lighting oh there we go um so you can see this one has a lot of different like animal shapes which is really fun i think it has like oh it's like a little tooth and stuff so that's really cute i like these a lot oh and there's like a little froggy and stuff so these are really cute you can do encapsulations with these so i i actually just this is my first time doing encapsulated nails as well i did mylars um which are a lot thinner than things like this so it was a lot easier i think than these will be i might need a little bit more practice for these um because i'm definitely not there yet i'm still a beginner um but these are going to be really fun once i'm able to get that encapsulation technique down and then whoop, sorry 
I just want to make sure you're able to see it. So this, I think, this looks like a Mylar piece. So these are really fun. I love these. Um, if you can see them in my nail right now, they essentially just make your nails look like glass. And obviously, if the light was reflecting on it, you would see it a lot better. Um, but they essentially just look like stained glass to me. And I think they look really cool. I love when they're mixed with different types of glitter. So this is going to be really cool. And since it's a white, it's literally going to go over top of any color. So these are really fun to play with. And then there's, ooh, oh, chunky glitter. Oh, and it has like stars and stuff in it. So this is a chunky glitter, holographic glitter. It has like hexagons, um, little dots, and some stars in there. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Chunky glitter gives a really like nice dimensional effect from what I see on other people. Um, I tend to only, I well, not tend, I only have like the fine glitter pieces right now, but the chunky glitters are really fun, and I like the look that, other people get on their nails when they use them. Then there is a black buffing block. Buffing blocks are really like hard because you go through them so fast so you can always use tons of these. Um, and then on kind of the same note there's some safety or not safety bits what do you call these carbide bits. <laughs> She gave some of these carbide bits. These are really for like taking down bulk product. So there's two here that are more of like that cone shape. Um, one seems to be like a titanium and I believe these are ceramic if I'm remembering correctly. Um, and then one safety bit as well. And let's see, so these two here are medium and then this one is a coarse. So this one will take down like acrylic really easily or hard gel like super fast. And this one is if you're trying to take down product but you're not necessarily trying to take down like loads of product, you're really just trying to refine that shape. Um, but these are really good because you go through these really quickly, they dull out and you wanna replace them, which is something I didn't realize at first but I have now come to realize you do need to replace those every so often then there are striping tapes um, so I haven't tried these yet these are gonna be really fun to play with um, you can create different designs with them my understanding is you can either apply them by themselves so to have the tape be the design so that's why there's different colors um, or what you can do is you can create like negative space on the nail so if I wanted to create like a negative space line um, or have like a different color peeking through I could apply the tape paint over it and then pull it off and it'll create that kind of negative space look so these are really fun um, and they have different like holographic colors and like metallic colors so that's gonna be really fun to play with um, let's see here we got oh these are really cool these are like um what do you call those type of stones I think they're like pearls or like opals maybe I'm not too familiar so don't quote me if that's not the correct name um, here let me see if I can get it open for you guys just to show you a little bit closer so these ones here are calling my name they remind me of like a unicorn or mermaid and like purple blue and pink are is like my favorite color combination so these are really like exciting me right now I can't wait to play with these so you have one um, a small medium and a large so that's cool and then you have these different ones that are all different colors that are more of like that medium size um, so that's gonna be really fun I don't have anything like this um, but they kind of give that like pearl or like ocean effect so that's gonna be fun to play with I think I might do maybe try to do like a mermaid set or something with those because that just seems like something I would love and would really enjoy so that's gonna be fun so then um, I'll kind of stick with the rhinestone since there's another one right here so then there's this set which I think you can see pretty clearly so I won't pull it out um, but these are just tiny different colored like multicolored gems like I said I have ones that are like this that are a lot larger that I used to use on my face for makeup um, and even for makeup I found like those were too large to go like near my eyes they really worked better on the face um, so these ones are gonna be really cool because I'll actually get to use them on my nails I was hoping the other ones would work so I could at least try it um, gems out before um, but these are gonna be fun and because they're different colors they'll go with different nail sets um, I figured like clear black silver those things will go with pretty much anything but these colored ones are gonna be fun to play around with so I'm excited for those I'm sorry I might lose some space as we go these are oh these are the buffing blocks that she uses I've only ever seen ones that are like this one 
or like the white buffing blocks that's like a little bit smaller than this um but she uses these and i think it's actually really cool because um they're a lot smaller and so you don't necessarily need to, like you don't necessarily need a full buffing block like this all the time because it's just a lot of space and they do wear down really easily so you kind of go through it fast so this will be cool because you'll really get to just focus on the area that you need and then pick up a new one whenever that part starts to dull out so she uses uses these a lot and I'm excited because buffing blocks are literally the one thing I've noticed just go through really really fast um then there are oh these are cute I think I saw her do a video where she got these they're like little spatulas so you can use these for like poly gel you can use them for like mixing glitter and stuff together this one has like a little scooper so that would be fun for like taking out like pigment or glitter to mix into your gel to make like colored gel um and they're really cute because they have this little gem I'll open one of them for you so you can see but they have like a little gem on the bottom so that's really cool because it kind of makes it look a little bit more cute and fancy and the scooper will be good for like glitters and stuff to mix in so that's going to be fun she actually has a video showing you how to mix glitter into gel and it's really really cool you can make all the different designs and all you need is a glitter and a clear gel so definitely check out her video if i can find it really easily when i'm editing this i will definitely add that into this video Ooh, and this is the poly gel brush she actually just posted her first video of 2021 um, I'm pretty sure it was her first video because um, she had stated that she wanted to do a um, nail desk tour which I'm really excited to see from her um, but she had mentioned that she put this into the giveaway and I was actually really excited because blue is my favorite color so it worked out that I got the blue um, poly gel brush so it's a standard poly gel brush um, which is just kind of like an oval small oval almost looks like a concealer brush if you're into makeup um, so that's kind of the shape and style that you get of that it's a really pretty handle this almost has like a holographic effect you probably won't be able to see it but it's really really cool I've also tried these with hard gel and they're a little bit stiffer um, than a standard hard gel brush but they do work in a pinch if you really do need it because before when I first um, started doing nails I did buy a just like beginner poly gel kit that came with a brush like this that I actually have already completely destroyed um, but these work in a pinch for hard gel nails like the standard builder gel so um, but they are a little bit stiffer just to be aware if you are trying to get into it they're not um, like the standard gel brushes but this one's really cool it has a cap I love this crystal effect it's really pretty and it'll look really nice on your desk um, if you're like a nail tech or even if you're like me and you're just a beginner and doing it on yourself um, and then this one I think this might be a poly gel brush too Yep, it is a poly gel brush. This one's kind of like the one that I had before, I think. Yep, it is. So it has like the little spatula to scoop out the product from the bottle and then the poly gel brush on the end. It's the same shape and everything as the other one, um, just like a short round, kind of like a concealer brush. The only thing I actually really like about poly gel brushes compared to standard gel brushes is that they come with caps. I don't know why normal gel brushes don't seem to come with caps all the time. Some brands give them, but um, at least from what I've looked online to try to find some but these actually are nice because they come with a cap um, so that was really exciting and fun to unbox um, then she gave two different types of files so there's 100 180 which is pretty much your standard file most um, like beauty supplies most people that I see um, doing hand filing are using a 100 180 grit file um, and she also gave the 80 80 file which I've never actually used um, so I'll be interested to see because the lower the number if I'm remembering correctly the more coarse the file so this is going to be a lot more coarse than this file so I'm interested to see how this takes down product and how it helps as far as like getting that shape down so these are going to be fun and I also like that they're the straight files I don't like the ones that have like weird shapes I got one of those in like a little kit that I got one time and it's it's not the easiest so having the straight file really helps with getting those straight edges so that's exciting now let's go into foils so I was really excited to see that foils were in this because foils seem like the easiest way to do nail art if you're somebody who 
can't do nail art and you have shaky hands or if you're doing it on yourself and you have like your dominant and non-dominant hands so obviously when working like I'm a right-handed person so when I work on my right hand I have to use my left which is not the best as far as like stability and getting like really nice designs that's why I love glitter because you literally just slap it on and it works really easy um, but the foils are essentially the same thing you apply a foil glue and then you apply the foil and there's your design you don't need to do a lot of work for it so these are actually really fun um, and I really love foil so this is really cool so this has some cool designs you have some like heart shape and flower designs um, you have a supreme and Chanel so some of those like oh and a Louis Vuitton so you have like those like designer foils so that's really cool exciting and then there's like a leopard animal print one that's really cool own oh, some like eyes I think these are like bats and stuff so that's really cool and I don't actually know what this is I know that this is probably kind of one of those like faux designer foils but I don't know what that design is off the top of my head so if you know it you can comment below but that's really exciting too because that definitely gives you that designer look um, for really easy and then there's these ones. These ones seem to be that like transparent one. These are really cool over like a clear nail or like a white nail, um, cause, or just like a light colored pastel nail. They'll give that effect. Um, it, it's more like PC looking than the other foils, which would give you like a full color and full coverage look. Um, but these ones will give you kind of like that PC design, almost like if you had stickers on it. Um, so this one, I'm trying to look at what the designs are. It's hard because they're kind of overlapping. So you have like the Champion design, another Chanel, Dior. I think this is Fendi, Nike, and Adidas. Those are really cool. So these are really fun. They're all the different designer ones, Dolce & Gabbana, Prada, Supreme. So these are really fun. I love foils. They're really cool. They're easy. They work really good for beginners, <laughs> at least from my experience. Ooh, this is different. So these are, I think they're foils. Let me see. I don't know where the tab is to open it. Let's see. So these kind of look like foils too, but they're kind of like a netted foil. Um, so I'm not sure how this applies. If you would apply it the same as the other, I wouldn't think so because it does, it does have like an actual net on it. So that's kind of weird. So you might just apply this to the nail and do like an encapsulated look with it. I'm not really sure. I'll have to look it up to see how these are actually used, but these look really cool. I think this would work for like that mermaid nail that I was talking about. Like one of these colors would work really nice for that. Um, or even like this gold, anything that has that like purple or pink or that like sandy look would work really well or this blue. So maybe I'll try that mermaid nail with one of this because it'll kind to give that like fishnet type of look so that'll be really fun i'm getting so many ideas of different designs i want to do then there is this mini lamp um this is the model ones lamp um this i believe is like a usb yep it's a pink one oh, so cute so you just hook this up you just need like a power uh what do you call those like a power block or something like for your phone um, and you're able to connect it you have the lights under here and i think yep these pop out if i can get them open and then it can just stand up on your desk like that this would be really good too if you travel um and you like if you know you're gonna do like an extended travel say you're going on vacation for a couple weeks and you want to just bring like a clear gel a polish and this just in case a nail breaks and you want to bring it or sorry you want to repair it while you're out there or whatever it may be this would be good for kind of like travel or if you needed to travel to somebody to do their nails that would work as well so that's really cute then there are these which I think these are used to hold like different gems and like tips and things oh actually I think these are what she uses to hold her foils which is actually really exciting so she's able I think to put two different foils in each of these little holders um, to kind of condense it from the holders that they come in because when they come in these boxes they only come in um, like each holder only holds one um, so she uses these to condense them um, if I'm remembering from her organization video um, yes I'm referencing all of her videos because I've watched so many of them and I've rewatched a bunch of them just to make sure that I have all the information in my head <laughs> then oh these are poly gels i was wondering what these were so these are 
Acrogel. I don't know which brand it is. Acrogel Professional, unless that is the brand, I'm not positive. Um, but this one is Oscar's skirt, which I don't know. It looks kind of like a silver, like, yep, it's like a glittery silver color. You're not gonna be able to see it. I don't wanna squeeze it out because I don't. I won't be able to get it back in the bottle. Um, but I'll do a video with these if you wanna see me actually apply them. I'm sure she probably has videos of these. So definitely check out her channel and search Acrogel. Um, she may have a lot of videos with these. Um, I know she's used different poly gels. I just don't know if she's used these specific colors, um, but she may have ones with these specific colors. So then there's like a purple, like shimmery color called Purple Ring. And I'm just gonna put these to the side here. Then there is Royal Crown, which is a gold with shimmer. Glitter Princess, which seems to look like, just off the little swatch picture, um, like a pink, pink, like shimmer, pink glitter, and it's in a clear gel. So it seems to be kind of like that clear nail with just like floating pink glitter. Wow, I'm getting really tongue tied. <laughs> And we have girls' dress. I don't know if that was supposed to be girls' dress. <laughs> girls' dress sounds, I don't know what that means, but this seems to be another purple with shimmer, but this one may have like holographic shimmer in it. Oh no, it's actually a pink. It's a pink with like chunky glitters in it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to really tell from that, but that actually looks really pretty. That's gonna be fun. Like I said, I love the look that people get when they use the chunky glitters because it just gives you different dimension and different um, like looks to the nail and it kind of reflects differently than when you have like just a full fine glitter or like a full nail of chunky glitter. This is Tiffany Pink, um, which kind of looks bronzy on the swatch, let me see. Oh, this one is more of kind of like a rose gold type of pink. So that's going to be fun. I love pink and purple nails, if you couldn't tell from my set right now. Um, but pink, purple, blue, all those colors are really fun. I love princess, mermaid, unicorn colors. <laughs> then we have party queen, which I believe is like a silver holographic color and blue ocean. Oh my gosh. These colors are literally exactly my favorite colors, which is amazing. I'm so happy. Ooh, this one's really pretty. It kind of looks like that, um, pink one that I just showed you that light pink one. I think Tiffany pink was the color, um, but it's in the blue. So that's going to be really fun. And these will definitely work for that mermaid set that I was talking about. And then this one, I'll just open it to double check, but I do believe it's a silver. Ooh, yeah, it's a silver, but it reflects kind of pink and green, it seems. So that's going to be fun. And it's in a, encased in a clear gel. So that's gonna be fun to play with. So these are gonna be fun. I can't wait to play with them. Um, I definitely wanna try that mermaid set, so I'll try to film it. I don't know how well it's gonna work trying to film on my own hand just yet. I wanna practice doing it with the practice hand first to get like the angle and everything right, and then I will move on and do my own hand as I kind of get better at it. So this, I don't know what this is. Let's see. Oh, I do know what this was. I was actually really excited for this, especially for my practice hand. So when I tried my practice hand before, I had to use my um, desk nail lamp that I, like the cure, curing lamp that I have. And it's a little bit harder to do on the practice hand because one, my practice hand sits above the table. Um, and for some reason, it my light does not want to recognize this as being like an object underneath the light. So it wouldn't turn on unless I held my hand underneath it. So this is actually a a, like flashlight LED light so you can cure it just by you know holding it over and it's a lot easier and more portable so like I said with the other nail lamp this is gonna be good if you need to travel anywhere um, if you need to just like flash cure something really quickly so it doesn't move before you add more product or something so these are gonna be really cool and again blue is my favorite color so this is actually works out really nice so I'm excited for this because I've seen a lot of people use these um, and I figured I wanted to pick one up soon just to try it out and see if it could help me with the practice hand so it's like just in time with this 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 all just seems to be like just perfect timing for things that I wanted to get but that also could be because I'm a beginner so I'm still collecting the stuff that I want to you know use 
this oh, she gave so many of these designer foils which i just saw people do i actually never realized that the designer nails that people do a lot of the times are foils um so this is another louis vuitton one i'm so excited for these because those sets look so cool and so pretty and chic and i'm really excited to try those out so this is one that actually has like the like the traditional louis vuitton brown color um in one of those foils so that's gonna be really fun then we have dual forms these work really well with poly gel i've seen some people use these with hard gel before um i think they were these they either were dual forms or clear nail like full cover tips um but they work best with poly gel just because it's thicker um but they are really easy they're simple and kind of I don't know like straight to the point you don't have to worry about um, messing with the sticker forms I like the sticker forms I've been able to kind of get a handle of them pretty well I think um, for a beginner but these are really good if you're just starting starting out because essentially you build the whole nail on this and then just pop it on like a press on cure it under the light and just clean it up a little bit with some filing and there's your nail so these are really good for beginners she actually also sent this pack which looks to be like a sh more straight um i don't want to pull them out because i don't want to accidentally lose it um, just because there's so much stuff on my desk but these have more of like a straight edge whereas these ones are more curved i don't know if you'll be able to tell if i'm holding them next to each other um i've never seen ones like these so this is going to be interesting i may try these ones first just to see how they come out oh you also can use these with acrylic um i've never tried that on myself but I've seen and heard that people can use them with acrylic so if you are somebody wanting to try acrylic these could be fun to do um, or to try out as well because it'll be a lot easier to get that shape then we have a little pink dust brush these work really well just for cleaning up um in between filing just to make sure that all the dust is out of the way and you can see where you're filing this one's really cute it's all jeweled and it's pink so that's really fun love that and those are easy to sanitize and clean when you need Ooh, these are the foil art foils the forms that i always see her use they're so pretty um so i'm actually excited to try these out i've never tried ones that are this shape that kind of have these wings um and don't have like the standard like oh gosh i don't know where the other one is it's all probably at the bottom I'm not gonna go digging and knock everything over here but a lot of the forms have like square like I don't know what you call it like diagrams on them this one has that round diagram so that's gonna be interesting because I've never tried that and I think that might be a little bit more helpful when doing like a stiletto or like an almond nail so I'm really excited to try these out and they're so pretty like I almost don't even want to use them because they're so pretty so I'm excited for that Ooh, more glitter. Oh, I love glitter so much. I actually saw her um, get from this company other glitters, um, but she gave a red one that has kind of like a mix of fine and chunky red glitter in it. And sorry, I just want to make sure that it's focused. And then this one, which oh, these are so pretty. It's kind of like a really extra fine white glitter which would look really good to kind of create that sugared look on the nail i always see people do that but i don't have a white glitter that's fine enough so this is going to be really nice and this also reflects like a gold which is really pretty i love white glitter that reflects gold so this is going to be fun to play with and i actually do have little jars that i can put these in so um i won't make a mess because i know if i keep them in these bags i'm gonna spill them so i do have jars that i could put these in so that they won't get spilled and wasted and ruined so I'm excited to play with these this would be good with like a Christmas set I know we just passed Christmas but that is making me have idea oh or like a Valentine's Day set we're coming up on Valentine's Day so that would be fun that might be something I'll try then I don't know what these are oh these are the chrome powders um so I've only seen the chrome powders that come kind of like a pigment like an eyeshadow pigment where it's like a loose powder um but these are supposed to be chrome powders that are in the pressed form so this is actually really exciting um so there's this one I don't know if they have I think they're just numbered I just want to check if there's a name so they are, I think they're just numbered. Um, they're from Model 1s, and this one is number 5. So you get an orange, kind of like an olive green, a purple, and like a magenta pink. Then number 4 is 
kind of like a plummy color, I would say, like a dark, like deep plum color, um, a coppery gold or bronzy gold, and then another hot pink and a purple. And I have so much stuff, I can't even keep it on my desk. Um, number three is, ooh, this is pretty. I like this green and with that purple. Um, so this blue, purple, kind of like a deep blue, purple, lime green, and a silver. And then there's, ooh, this one's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Um, so you have the teal, kind of like a rose, rose pink. Um, and then there's a silver and another lime green. And lastly, number two is a gold. This one's actually really pretty. I like this one. Um, it has kind of like a, I don't even know what you would call this color because it's like a pink, but it's also kind of like a muted red. It kind of has a mix of both. Um, and sorry, I'm not pulling it out right now. I just have so much stuff on my desk. I don't want to drop it or lose any pieces. Um, but it also comes with like a emerald green and then a deep red. So these would be fun for like a Christmas set, like I said. These two would be fun for like a Valentine's Day set. So I'm excited to play with these and these are gonna be a lot less messy than the ones that come in like the loose powder form. So these are gonna be fun to play with. And let's see. And then these, I don't actually know what these are. I'm gonna have to see oh I think okay I could be wrong please quote like let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried these or seen them but I think these are the things that I've seen people use to extend their nails I just want to feel it to see if I'll be able to tell okay yeah I think it is I could be wrong like I said I'll have to look it up to just make sure but I what I've seen people do is apply this with glue I think it is to the nail like the natural nail um, or just a shorter nail and they'll extend it by applying this with the glue and then putting gel over top so I'm not too familiar with that technique I think I've only seen it once or twice um, in a video when somebody was just fixing like a broken natural nail um, but these will be fun to play with and kind of test out I've never tried these never use them um, honestly never really see them on video so I'll have to go look to see if there's a tutorial on how to do this but that's fun um, and it came with three packs of these she gave me three um, and then I promise we're almost there. Um, she gave these tips. Oh, she gave stiletto tips. Oh, I'm so excited. I've never actually tried stiletto tips. The only tips I've ever tried are the ones that you can get at Sally's, um, which are just the square tips or like Walmart or something. Um, but she gave a set of stiletto tips, which if you can't tell, I am living for that stiletto look right now. I actually never tried stilettos until I tried doing my own nails. Um, so it came with a bunch of packs of those stiletto tips and they're long stilettos these are gonna be fun to play with I cannot wait these are exciting um, I've considered buying them um, but I did form so much that I just couldn't justify getting more product because I was I'm still a beginner so but this is gonna be fun um, so I'll at least get to try the stiletto and then also if you use these Hold on. I'm going to put these over here so they're all together and I don't lose them. Um, but what you can also do with these is you can clip off the end and then it makes it a coffin tip. So that's going to be really fun. It's kind of like a two in one. Um, if you shorten it down like all the way, it'll be more of a square. It'll still have some slight uh, tapering, but it won't be as intense. So it'll kind of give more of that square effect. So it's almost like a three in one uh, for these type of tips. So that's going to be really fun. I can't wait to try those. I know I'm saying fun a lot and uh, I can't wait to try anything, but I, I love all these. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm, I'm a beginner, so I'm still in that like excited honeymoon phase. Um, this is IBD hard gel or builder gel. This is their clear. Um, I actually did get one of these when I was first trying out in the pink. Um, and I do have one in the natural as well. So this is going to be fun. Um, clear gel it works really good for encapsulation. It works really good just for any type of nail design because it doesn't have a color. So you can do whatever you want with it. Um, but these work really well if you're somebody who wants to do encapsulation because it gives that kind of glass look. Um, so I'm really excited for this. I like IBD. You can find those at Sally's, but my Sally's only sells the 
half ounce um, jars and they upcharge so it ends up being almost the same price as what you can buy the full or I think these are two ounces these might be two ounces yes um, these sell for around the same price as what my Sally's is I think the Sally's is only like two or three dollars cheaper but you only get half an ounce in that versus two ounces so um, if you do have a beauty supply I would recommend getting the gel products on like Amazon or another like company or somewhere online because the beauty supplies tend to upcharge these products at least from what I've noticed then I'm gonna save like the really big pieces for last. Um, she also gave, um, this is like a tip holder so you can kind of sort through um, and it's numbered which is really nice because um, the one that I got, it was a kit from Walmart that's like a kiss tip kit I think um, and that one didn't have numbers so they all got jumbled up and messy so this will be really good to keep them all organized um, and that way if you know like say I use like a number four on these two fingers you'll be able to just go and grab that one like size you won't have to literally sit there and look through all of them so it's really cool and it's clear and I'm sure you can fit as uh, however many tips you have in here um, right now I'm just gonna put the stilettos but this is a big box so I'm sure you can fit a ton of tips in this so I'm excited for that then there's more nail forms these are really pretty as well I, I don't know why I'm like forms are one of those things where they kind of all do the same thing um, but they have all different designs and different shapes and these ones that have different shapes or like the little tabs or wings I guess in this shape um, in this instance actual wings but these types of forms are really cool to me I don't know why they just look really fun uh, but I've never tried them so these are gonna be fun to play with as well then she gave two little tweezers um so these ones i believe you can use these for different like art designs so you can do like gems with them um the little what do you call those like striping tape you can kind of lay them down on it mylars things like that you can put on with these so these are just good to have also if you have long nails um, and you've ever needed to open like a gel jar these have like a foil wrapping on them most of them do some companies don't do that I think but um, most gels that I've seen they have like a foil wrapping on it um, so these are good to help get those off <laughs> just quick tip um, if you have long nails tweezers are really helpful for getting those little wrappers off then ooh, oh my gosh she put so many of these like designer things it's so exciting I love these and I'm I don't have any of them so it's really exciting um, so she gave two different ones one is a clear that has all Gucci stickers on it so different designs and then this one has or it might be silver actually it looks clear because the backing is silver um, but I think it's actually silver and then this one is gold and this is all Louis Vuitton I'm gonna have so much fun with these different designer like stickers and foils I'm so excited for these these are so cool um, then these are nail clips which I've never tried these I don't actually just want to make sure yes so these I believe what you do with them is when you're soaking off your nail you would take the cotton let me see Ooh, oh no I'm dropping some <laughs> I'll pick those up in two seconds. Um, like I said, I have so much stuff on this desk now. Um, but you'll take a cotton and you'll put it on your finger and these kind of hold it in place so you don't have to foil wrap every time because obviously one that wastes foils. Um, but also sometimes it's just a pain to have to rip up little foils um, and do that. So this is actually really cool. They're cute and they're purple. So And it comes with 10 so you can do all of your nails um, at the same time. So that's really fun. I like them. They're really cute colors. So that'll be cool to try then there's a gel cleanser um, so if you've ever tried hard gel um, or if you have it and you don't know um, when you cure it it has like they call it a dispersion or dispersion layer I'm not sure how you pronounce it um, but what it is is like a tacky layer and you have to wipe it off um, I normally use alcohol because I found out that you can use alcohol for it um, and that's a cheaper alternative to getting cleansers um, so I've never actually tried an actual gel cleanser um, so this will be my first time so that's exciting to see I'll be interested to see if it actually has like a difference um, or if I can notice a difference as far as this between um, oh gosh now my English is gonna fail me 
it'll be interesting to see if I can notice a difference between this and the alcohol, the rubbing alcohol. So that'll be fun to try. I'm excited for that. Alrighty, and then the last thing, I believe I just want to make sure, yep. Um, so the last thing is this nail drill. Um, so this is actually really fun. Um, I actually think I have a purpose for this. So I did get a nail drill that has a digital display um, just because the... The people that I've been watching, especially Lisette and Young Nails, they do tell you um, what RPMs they're using their drills on when they're using um, the drill. I know Lisette has used different um, types of drills, so she's used ones that don't have the digital display and ones that do. Um, Young Nails, their nail drill all, or electric file has the digital display so they always will tell you when they're doing different parts of the process what rpms they are at so i got one that has a digital display from amazon um because i wanted to be able to learn like what rpms work for different things but i wanted to try acrylic nails as well um especially on the practice hand i think just because gel is more expensive acrylic is pretty cheap to get and a lot easier to find um so i want to be able to do acrylic nails especially for when I'm doing things on the practice hand so um, the only thing with that is I don't necessarily want to buy a bunch of acrylic powder like colored colors um, color colors colored acrylics and different things like that because that's just going to be really excessive but I found that you can buy like chalk pastels and you can make your own colored acrylic with just mixing clear acrylic with those chalk pastels so I think what I'm going to use this for um, just so that I don't have to continue to clean that one um, when I do it and I haven't ordered any of this yet but um, I think when I get that stuff I'm going to use this for that or I'll use it strictly for like prep work with the sanding band and then keep my carbide bit in the other one so I don't have to keep popping it out. It'll just work because they can both sit on my desk. Um, so this is what I think I'll use this one for and I'll just open it really quick so that you guys can see. Um, so it's a pink drill. It's really thin and easy. Um, looks easy to hold. It comes with, and I'll just throw these in here for now, 180 grit sanding bands. It does come also with 120 grit, which is, okay, so this is less in number, so it'll be more coarse. So this will be like a medium, this will be a fine, and then the 80 is gonna be your coarse. Um, and then it comes with a little like dust brush, I think these are called. I've never actually used these ones before, but it's like a buffing, dust brush and then it comes with um what do you call these i forget what you call this one but it, this is the bit that you put your sanding band on like i said i'm a beginner so i don't always remember the names of things um it comes with some more sanding bands up here and then some diamond bits i believe these are called um so these are more for like refining shape they don't take down product as well you really want to use those carbide bits that i showed earlier that she had given um to take down like bulk and then this one is what you'll do to like refine that shape and kind of smooth everything out um so it comes with kind of just the standard set that most nail gels come with so that's really exciting um so that is everything i'm sorry i here i'll kind of show you the masses of stuff here so this is everything i have also this is my um old brush so you can see it's kind of coming out it's still usable it's not like it's unusable but i was considering getting a new one soon um just so that i could have a backup as this starts to fray more so that's why i'm excited for those and then i have like these little um artsy brushes that you um, you can get from like Michaels and Amazon on my desk but this is all the stuff that she gave um, and I'm so thankful like so 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 thankful for being able like I said to partake in this giveaway let alone freaking win it so I'm so thankful for her I appreciate her so much because not only did I get to win this but she has taught me so freaking much about how to apply gel nails so i really appreciate it i love watching her videos please 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 if you're interested in nails if you just need something to watch while you're doing like chores around the house or you're bored and you just want something on so you can like have some fun watch cool designs see somebody do really cool nails she is somebody to watch please go watch her channel um i literally could not say enough good things about it because she is the best 
with when it comes to hard gel and she teaches really really well um she's able to really walk you through it so if you are somebody who's learning and you don't just want to watch just because they're fun and they're cool to see the different designs that she can do um she really does help out as far as learning um so definitely check her out thank you again i'll say directly to her i don't know if she'll ever see this but if she does thank you thank you thank you i appreciate it so much and this is really going to help me along in my nail journey um and hopefully i'll be able to show and like post pictures or maybe do some little videos showing these products as i kind of move along in my nail journey because i'm only a couple months in um so i'm definitely i still have a lot of ways to go i'm definitely going to get better as we move forward so i'm excited to be able to improve and get to play around with some new products so i appreciate it thank you so much if you like this video thumbs it up hit that subscribe button. Um, I know I haven't done a video in so, so long, um, but I'm really excited to do nail videos. I think this is gonna be a lot easier for me. Um, it's a little bit trickier to film, but I think it's gonna be easier for me to get done because I can do things like use practice hands and I can't find, literally the other practice finger that she had given is now all under this pile. Um, but I'm gonna be able to do things on these as well as do them on myself, which is gonna make it a lot easier. Um, so I'm really excited to play around with this. I may still do makeup videos here and there, um, but I right now, just because this is my hobby and also with COVID going on, I haven't been enjoying makeup as much as I used to because the mask just ruins it like right away. So um, I've been having more fun with nails so I think that's what I'm gonna focus on for now so if you like this video and you want to see more definitely thumbs this up subscribe and leave me a comment if you have anything specific you would like to see please just be aware I am a beginner so I'm not really good at doing all the crazy designs and things yet I have a lot to play with and get to try out um, but I still need a lot more practice so please just like beware um, you may request something that I can't do yet but definitely put what you want to see because I may be able to learn it and be able to show you guys in a video later down the line. So love you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, Lisette, so much for this. So happy that you were able to reach 10K. That's such an amazing milestone. So I'm so happy for you. Congrats on that. And it was such a nice way to go into the new year. So bye, everybody. I appreciate you watching this. Sorry it was so long, but it was a lot of goodies and a lot of fun stuff. And now I'm dropping everything. So Bye guys, I'll see you later.